video, we're just going to take a quick look at the difference between disjoint and overlapping events. Um, this would be necessary to know the difference if you're dealing with probabilities and you've got different events going on. You've got to know whether they are mutually exclusive or whether they're overlapping. Disjoint events have no outcomes in common at all, and your overlapping ones have at least one or more of your outcomes that are in common. So what I've got here is we're going to take a look at disjoint events and overlapping events, and we're going to draw a Venn diagram to kind of visually look at this and see what it's going to look like. All right, so if I've got two events, if my first event is rolling a two on a dice, all right, my second event is rolling an odd number, okay, these are disjoint events because there are no outcomes that they have in common. Two is not an odd number, okay, so there's nothing in common there. If we wanted to represent this in an Venn diagram, all right, my event A, all right, well, event A, the only outcome I'm going to have is rolling a two. There is nothing that overlaps when I do event B in a Venn diagram form. It would be all the odd numbers that are on a dice, so one, three, five. Okay, now if I want to represent everything here technically, I could also get a four when I roll a dice, and I can also get a six. So these would be outside of the event A and B, but clearly this Venn diagram shows you that there are no outcomes that are in common between events A and B. All right, now on overlapping events, all right, let's take a look at maybe say event A being rolling an even number, and event B is rolling a prime number. Okay, well we do have a prime number, one prime number, that is even, and that's two, so there would be the one or more outcomes that it would have in common. Okay, so my two circles for my Venn diagram are going to have to overlap. All right, so event A, rolling an even number, all right, so all my even numbers on the dice, all right, are two, four, and six. Four and six are gonna go here, the two, is going to have to go in the middle because that is also a prime number so that when I set up my Venn diagram for event B which is rolling a prime number the prime numbers on the dice are two three and five all right one is generally considered not to be prime and it clearly is not even so then it would fall out here somewhere but on overlapping events the outcomes there's at least more at least one or more of the outcomes that overlap. All right, so just a good way to draw out and map out those disjoint and overlapping events using those Venn diagrams. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, be sure and share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.